Hi there! Welcome to Laura and Lori's Martin. cooking show. Martin. Say cooking. Cake. But you're looking at the wrong person. Who are you supposed to be looking cake. at? Cake. Cake. We're gonna make cake because she cake. wants cake. It's your cake because you love it, right? Okay. So today we are going to make a blueberry cream cheese cake. A blue cake. Okay. Turn around. All right, turn around and let's see what we need, okay? We're going to need one cup of Swerve. That's a sugar replacement. And we're going to need about a half a container of these organic uh, blueberries. We're going to need one teaspoon of heavy whipping cream. One teaspoon of vanilla extract. We're going to need six tablespoons of Kerrygold butter. And yes, Kerry Gold, we want grass fed butter. We're going to use seven tablespoons of cream cheese. Oh, don't break that, hun. Four eggs, a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. We're going to use one teaspoon of baking powder. We have one and one fourth cup of almond flour. And then we have a pan. This pan here is a 11 by seven and a half glass pan. And we have coated it with lard because this is keto. Stop. All right, so these are all the ingredients you need. And are you ready to get cooking? Yeah. Then tell the audience, let's get cooking. 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 Okay, so first we're gonna put the butter, that's the Kerrygold butter in. And we're also gonna put in the sugar, go ahead which is the swerve, the sugar substitute. Stick it on in there. Good job. Okay, we're gonna blend this together now. We're using a kitchen, whoop, we're using a kitchen aid, but feel free to use a hand mixer if you want. And now we're gonna let this mix until it's already combined. Okay, now we're gonna drop the cream cheese in. Go ahead, take a piece. Watch your hands. Good job. Okay, one last piece. Now when it gets to this consistency, we're going to put in one teaspoon of the vanilla. There you go, baby. Drop it in. Oh, good job. All right, yeah. And then we're going to start putting in the eggs. When you put in the eggs, put them in one at a time. Let it mix for a couple of minutes, like well, at least one minute per egg. And then we'll put in another one. And you just repeat that till all four eggs are in. Okay, and now we're going to lower this a little bit here. And we're going to put in one teaspoon of heavy whipping cream. Honey, stick that in there. <gasps> oh, got to be careful. <laughs> Mommy thought we lost it. And then we're going to put in one quart teaspoon of salt. Can you put that in? Good job. And then we're going to put, okay, that's enough. And then we're going to put in one teaspoon of the baking powder. Okay, hon. Can you put that in? Yeah. Got it in there? Okay, good job. And then the last thing that goes in is the almond flour. Can you dump that in? Dump it in over here. Go like that. There. Good job. And now let's put the last one in. It all went in there. Okay, now we're gonna mix this up. Okay, so this is this is a consistency it's supposed to look like. And then we're just gonna throw in our blueberries. Let them move around a little bit. And then just just to get it mixed up. 
and now we're gonna raise it and of course my daughter this is the part she likes licking the beater but she will not be doing that right away okay let's move this back a little bit and we'll put our dish here and now we're just going to put it in. Make it, make it, make it. Ah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, the reason why this is a little bit more take, yellow in my color take, my take. than it normally will be, just in case you're wondering why well, that batter is a little bit yellow, the reason why is because we use farm fresh eggs from a good friend of mine, Kelly. And uh, farm fresh eggs, of course, are better for you and um they have a more of a yellower yolk so hence that's why the cake is going to take on a little bit more of a yellow texture this reminds me actually of like a cream cheese wait a minute honey this reminds me actually of a cream cheese cake that um i don't know if it was my aunt lillian or my mom that my used mom to make has. it grandma's house but all I do remember is that I liked it a lot it was really really good so anyway we're gonna do this now this is going to go in the oven for 40 to 50 minutes now just to let you know in the middle of the cooking process I'm going to check it if this top part starts to turn to look like it's getting a little too brown there is a solution for that and I'm going to show you how you're going to do that in about 20 minutes. So let's put it in the oven now. We have the oven, 350. We're going to stick it in. And we'll be back in about 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes. Okay, and as you see, I'm checking the cake. And you see how it's starting to get brown, but on the inside, you can tell it's still very liquidy. So to prevent it from getting burnt on top, here's the secret. You're going to take a piece of tin foil, and then you're going to loosely cover it up like this. So this will help the cake to continue to cook. However, the top of the cake will not continue to get brown. That is my secret. I'm sharing with all of you because I know one lady said that Mommy, in my keto group no she said more. she made it but it was really burnt or Mommy. brown at the top and she didn't Mommy. know why so here's the secret for you if you're gonna watch this video and Mommy. we'll let it finish cooking another 20 to 30 minutes Mommy. and we'll check it and see Mommy. if it's done so our cake has been in here for about 60 minutes I know I said 40 to 50 but for some reason it cooked to 60 minutes so you just sort of will have to watch it I guess so let's take this off and there it is let's check it toothpick test yep it is done and here we go here is our cake don't touch it dear and this is a blueberry cream cheese cake now it's hot, but I'm going to cut a very little piece off. Well, it's better to cut it when it's cool. Okay. But we would be here for a long time if we waited until it was cool. So just bear with me. I'm just going to do a little tiny corner there. I'm going to get a little, little plate here. Don't touch, it's hot, dear. Okay, and I want to show you something. Now remember we put the blueberries in it, right? And the blueberries were all over, um, if you remember seeing the batter when I poured it in. Well, during the baking process, all the blueberries went to the bottom. So you have this nice layer of blueberry at the bottom, and then you have this beautiful cream cheese texture and as you can see it's really really moist it's very moist and this is one of my daughter's favorites so she is anxious to eat 
And she can eat this little corner, but she can't eat any more because what she doesn't realize is it is for our company tomorrow night. Along with some decadent pecan bars, a friend of mine, Kim, had made, which are not keto friendly, and uh, we, I will not be eating them. But there you go, and you put a little bit of the real cream whipping coffee that is keto friendly, as long as you don't overindulge, of course. Here we go. Would you like to blow on it and test try it, young lady? Go ahead. Hey, I no, we don't put it in our mouth. Look, I put it up on top of your cake. Go ahead and try it and tell me what you think. Try the cake. Of course, the whipped topping is going to be perfect. Yeah, the cake is a little bit hot, of course, because I just took it out of the oven, babe. Here. Mom! Yeah. What? No. Can you blow on it? Real hard? And there's a little bit of whipped cream to go with it. How's it taste? How's it taste? Nummy. Nummy? Should I eat it instead? Should I have it? No. Are you sure? No. Mm, that's good. That's good. Mommy. You want to finish it? Or no. can I have it? No. You want to have it? Why do you want it? I like it. You like it? Yeah. Okay. She yeah. wants her cake. Yeah. All right. So on keto, you can have your cake. And yes, you can eat it too. Everyone, if you like no. our videos, make no. sure you subscribe and follow no. us. No. Please let me know if you try any of these recipes and if you like them. I really would love to hear back from the audience to find out how it's going if you have a successful weight loss. I've lost 28 pounds since uh, the beginning of January. I know that's not a lot, but when you have a dead thyroid, um, every pound counts. So. Continue to keep to on, continue to make these delicious meals, and bon appetit. Hi, my name is Lori, yeah. and this is Laura, yeah. and we have a cooking show called Lori and Laura. Yeah. And uh, if you would like to watch our videos, if you could subscribe up here, and if you like what you see, then down here is the links to watch more videos. Yeah. We hope you like it and uh, are entertained. Yeah. Have a good day.